if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program, where my clients lose anywhere from the last few pounds to up to 70 pounds and counting. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click the link in the down bar or just go to healthyemmy.org so that you can... <laughs> so that you can get slim on starch. Also make sure that you hit subscribe and you turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time the freshest news on weight loss on a plant-based diet is coming out, which is every Wednesday and Saturday. In this video, you are going to be learning the truth about sugar. We always hear that sugar is the devil, but is that really the case? Let's find out. So what is sugar? When we think about sugar, we can think about a lot of things. We can think about processed white table sugar. We can think about candies, cookies, pastries, soda, fruit, fruit juice, white rice. There's so many different things that we think about when we hear the word sugar. We also probably think about things like fat, bad, and weight gain. Sugar really is known as the devil in the world of nutrition. And then on top of that, we hear things like good sugar and bad sugar. Sugar from here is good, sugar from there is bad. So it's really just this big mess. First, I want to delve into the idea that sugar is directly associated with bad fat and weight gain. There is a common belief out there that sugar is the cause of weight gain, yet all of my clients are technically on a high sugar diet because this is a high carb diet. They're eating potatoes, fruit, white rice, all of those things that are high in sugar and they're losing tons of weight. I mean, Anna has lost four and a half pounds in week one and she wasn't even overweight to begin with. <laughs> so to say that sugar causes weight gain, I mean, it's not the case with all of my clients and we're gonna delve into why that is in this video. When we break it down, it turns turns out that sugar is really the scapegoat in this whole thing. Sugar is not the direct cause of weight gain. Here's why. Sugar is a carbohydrate, okay? The process of turning carbohydrates into fat, so the process of turning sugars into fat, that's known as de novo lipogenesis. And de novo lipogenesis sounds really complicated, and for that reason alone, no, I'm kidding, not because it's super complicated, but just because, humans aren't really good at this process. The process of de novo lipogenesis, turning carbohydrates into fat, that's very, very inefficient in humans. Animals like pigs and cows, they're good at it. But humans, we really don't want to do that because humans prefer to burn carbohydrates. Our body's preferred source of fuel is glucose. And remember, anything that ends in O-S-E, anything that ends in O-S is a sugar. Our body wants to burn that sugar. Our body doesn't want to store sugar. It costs about 30% of the calories coming from carbs, which is sugar, to store that as fat whereas it costs only 3% of the calories from fat to store that as fat. So when our body is handed sugar, it doesn't want to process it as fat, it wants to burn it off for energy. So turning sugar into fat, that's not something that humans do readily unless you are being massively overfed. So why is it that people think that sugar is making them fat? Well, if you're eating tons and tons and tons of sugar, you're probably eating tons and tons and tons of calories. And the way that you become over weight is from eating more calories than you are burning. So if you're eating tons of sugar and you're eating more calories than you're burning, then what's going to happen is that the fat that you are eating in those excess calories is going to be stored as fat. The sugar is not turning into fat. It's the fat and the fact that you are eating too many calories that is causing weight gain. It's not the sugar. The sugar is the scapegoat for it. And it might seem ludicrous to you, the fact that sugar is actually not the cause of weight gain, but listen to this. There was a guy named Walter Kempner, and Dr. Kempner took patients that had malignant hypertension. Malignant hypertension is ultra high blood pressure that is considered a medical emergency because it can do major organ damage. And what he did with these patients is he put them on a diet of white rice, sugar, fruit, 
and fruit juice. And that was the only things that they were allowed to eat. It was a very strict diet of just those things, just what we would consider to be pure sugar. And guess what happened? Those patients rapidly improved and reversed their hypertension, being on a diet of what we would consider to be pure sugar. Sugar is not the devil. And in some cases, it actually heals people. So what I'm saying here is that sugar is not bad. It's not inherently bad. Now we've talked about things and we've heard about things like good sugar versus bad sugar. So let's sort of get into that now. So as I said earlier in this video, when we hear the word sugar, we can think a lot of things. We can think processed white table sugar. We can think soda, cookies, lollipops, white rice, fruit, fruit juice. So is there good sugar versus bad sugar? Well, let's talk about these. Things like soda, lollipops, candy, processed white table sugar, that is processed white sugar, and it's not a health food. I wouldn't recommend that you eat that. I mean, there's no nutritional value. It's just empty calories. And will it cause weight gain? Well, if you're eating empty calories and you're just eating calories upon calories upon calories, if you're eating too many calories, then the fat that you're eating is going to be stored as fat. So I don't recommend that you eat processed white sugar. Now let's talk about the idea that when people think about cookies, pastries, and cakes, they associate that with sugar and they say that's why you get fat from eating all of that sugar. But remember, those, those pastries, cakes, and cookies, it's not the sugar in there that's causing weight gain, it's the fat in there. And of course, it is essential that you have excess calories in order to gain fat. So if you're eating less calories than you're burning, you could eat a bunch of Twinkies and you're not gonna gain weight. But if you're eating more calories than you're burning, then it's the fat that's being stored as fat. So all the sugar in that stuff is not being converted into fat. It's the fat that's being converted into fat because those products are so high in calories. So yes, there is sugar in pastries, cookies, and cakes, but it's the fact that it is super calorically dense and there's a lot of fat in there too. That is why those things cause fat gain. Now let's talk about something like fruit. Fruit is wonderfully healthy and people say don't eat too much fruit because of all the sugar. And I disagree that you should stay away from fruit because there's sugar in it. Fruit is unbelievably healthy. It's fruit for crying out loud. It's full of vitamins and minerals and nutrients. Do I think that fruit should be the absolute centerpiece of your diet? No, I don't because it's not satiating enough. You're not going to be full if you're just eating fruit all day and you'll eat all the live long day. This is why my diet and the diet that I recommend is based on whole starch. Things like potatoes, rice, beans, oats, that kind of good bulky stuff. But fruit is wonderfully healthy and you shouldn't be afraid of the fruit because of the sugar content because fruit contains sugar and the body's preferred source of fuel is sugar. So fruit is like gold for our bodies because it has it has sugar in it and that is what we burn for fuel. We burn carbohydrates for fuel. The body's preferred fuel source is glucose and anything that ends in OSE, that is a sugar. So what does all of this mean for you? If you're more confused than ever, then don't worry because I've got you covered. What this means is that we need to stop isolating things by sugar, fat, protein, carbs, calories, and just dang eat whole foods. Just keep it simple, honey. And you're probably wondering which whole foods are best, which one should I eat, which one should I stay away from? I got you covered. Click the link in my down bar for my free grocery list. If it's on that list, eat it. Don't question it. Don't think, do grapes have too much sugar? Do bananas have too much sugar? Are tomatoes considered a fruit? What's the sugar content of them? Honey, just keep it simple. Take a deep breath. In this nutrition world, all we think about is numbers and calories and carbs and this, that, and the other. And I just want us to keep it freaking simple. Just eat whole foods and not worry about all this mumbo jumbo. Click the link in my down bar to get that grocery list so that you can take a deep breath and not have to worry about all of this BS. We make it simple over here. The healthy honeys are all about just getting rid of all the BS from the diet world and keeping it super Super, super simple. Go ahead and share this video with somebody who's super confused about sugar so that we can set the record straight and keep it simple, stupid. Kiss, baby. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Woo!